The Chicago River has a main stem. That's the part that runs right through the central business district of the Loop downtown. It has a north branch that extends northwest up through many residential and commercial Chicago neighborhoods. And it has the south branch, which is where I'm standing today, um, that cuts through the south side of Chicago and the southwest side of Chicago. Also a mixed residential and industrial set of uses around this branch of the river. So the river water quality varies quite a bit across those three branches. And that's one of the things we're excited to share more information about with h 2 Now Chicago. I think we do know that the South Branch uh, has worse water, water quality certainly than the main stem, um, probably than a lot of the North Branch, although some of the North Branch is also industrial. Um, as you can see again behind me, there's a lot of industry still currently happening along this part of the river, um, and so that probably contributes to it, as well as just some of the legacy um, of Bubbly Creek, which is also right behind us, of being used as a dumping spot. So the river flows away from Lake Michigan, and it flows south to the Mississippi, but it has not always done that. Uh, of course, Chicago is infamous for reversing the river direction, um, so it used to flow into Lake Michigan. The main consequences of reversing the river were to, to keep Lake Michigan clean because of course that's our drinking water source and historically the river has not been treated so well, treated as an open sewer. Of course the bu Bubbly Creek is famous for uh, the stockyards and dumping the waste from the stockyards into the river so the water, water quality was terrible. and. And when the river was going into the into Lake Michigan, that sullied our lake uh, drinking water. Yeah, so we spend a lot of our time up here on the North Branch Canal, which is on the east side of Goose Island. So that's the area which is known as the Wild Mile. And what we're doing here is building a park, which some of the lessons can be transferred to other areas of the river. But specifically, we're trying to rebuild the habitat and create a new environment for people and wildlife alike. You know, looking to figure out how we can better the water quality, one of the things we did is install these floating gardens, which through phytoremediation really help uh, clean and purify the water um, just using the power of plants. You know, in addition, we're working on other things such as uh, mussel habitat structures. So these are structures that bring native mussels in, which filter about 10 to 15 gallons a day of water. So by using a couple different approaches, I think we're going to have a good shot at really rehabilitating the Chicago River and bringing it back to a, a, a safe and clean level. Shen Aquarium is doing some work to better understand the water quality of the Chicago River. Um, we are doing things like tracking dissolved oxygen so that we can see how different parts of the river um, are more kind of primed to be habitat for wildlife, especially things like fish that live underwater. Um, and there are some parts of the Chicago River that have no dissolved oxygen. So by tracking this, we're seeing which parts of the river are kind of um, more primed for wildlife or which need more restoration work. Uh, so dissolved oxygen, um, and then also by working with urban rivers on the installation of floating wetlands, we are seeing how the floating wetlands are absorbing or taking out any of the nutrients in the water. Um, so trying to see um, how habitat restoration can ultimately be part of improving just the water quality, making it safer for people, uh, for wildlife, and uh, just being a healthier system. Now, Shed is excited to partner with H2Now Chicago uh, because we have a same shared goal of wanting a healthier Chicago River, both for people and wildlife. Um, and so we uh, absolutely want to learn more about the science of the river, what's going on with the water quality, how are different types of restoration projects or combined sewer overflows impacting water quality. Um, and so we're, we're just happy to support something that is helping all of us better understand the river so that we can protect it. We know that the river water quality varies across the branches and what we're really interested in doing is helping to raise awareness of how that happens because we know that we want a river that all Chicagoans can access. The river cuts through so much of our city and we want all Chicagoans to be able to have access to use it for recreation, to have public health, to build businesses that are based on river access. And so it's a really important part of thinking about environmental justice and economic justice in our city is thinking about how we can use the river to improve equitable access to those uses.